Everyone is fed up with Adobe. Not only have they been charging us so much money every month in order to use their products, but now it has come to light that they are using creators content to train their AI models such as Adobe Firefly to generate images. And that made a lot of people very upset. I mean, I do love AI, but we have to think about photographers, illustrators, and many other creatives who have spent their entire lives acquiring new skills in order to do their jobs better, just to have their content stolen so that AI can do their work maybe better than they can? Yeah, that's pretty much what's been happening. Although, if you look at Adobe's terms of services, they say that they don't train their AI models on local content, that means content that's stored on creators' computers. They don't say that they don't train their models on content that's stored to their creative cloud, which is like the main storage option in Adobe products. And if that was not enough, they're now also under big trouble because the US government has sued them for misleading customers in their terms of services. Because when you sign up to an Adobe subscription, even though they make it seem like you're paying for a monthly subscription, you're actually paying for a yearly plan that's charged monthly. And the big problem with that is that if you try to cancel before your subscription time is over, you actually have to pay a cancellation fee, and it's not cheap. From what I've seen, it can be like $70, $100. It depends on how long you've got left of that year. So everyone's really pissed and they're looking for alternatives. And honestly, there has never been a better time for you to ditch Adobe and move over to Affinity's suite of apps, which are fantastic replacements for Adobe's apps. So in this video, I'm going to help you do that by first showing you how you can cancel your Adobe subscription without paying their cancellation fee, and then showing you how you can get Affinity's Creative Suite completely free for six months so that you can try their apps out for a long time, get used to them, be able to adapt your workflow, and then finally make a decision on whether you want to purchase it or not. And keep in mind that Affinity doesn't use subscriptions. They adopt single-time payments. So you pay for your app once and you have access to it for as long as it's supported by the operating system. So that can actually save you hundreds of dollars. So without further ado, let's get to it. But first, I would really like to ask you guys to please leave a like and subscribe to the channel so that I can keep creating content that's useful to you and you can learn some cool tips about saving money, about tech, and all of that good stuff, okay? Deal? All right. So in order to cancel your Adobe account without having to pay that cancellation fee, all you have to do is log into your account in your browser, go to plans and products, and view all plans. Now, all you gotta do is select a different plan from the one that you're actually using right now. So why does this work? Well, the reason is that Adobe offers you a 14-day return window when you get a new subscription. So in your current subscription, you're probably already past that. But if you switch to a new subscription, a different one, you're actually going to get those 14 days to cancel without any fees. As soon as you change plans, you're going to get charged. But when you cancel it later on, you're going to get refunded, so you're not going to spend a dime doing this. Now, I'm not going to go forward with this process because I already did. Now, I'm currently using my Jobs Adobe account. I did cancel my personal account and it worked flawlessly. Also, I want to mention that I'm not the person who figured this out. I actually found this on Reddit. So if I do end up finding that link, I'm going to put it in the description as well. So you can go there and maybe give a like to the person who actually found this loophole. So anyhow, now let's go over to Affinity's website in order to get their suite of apps for free. All right, so in this video description, you're going to find this link that will take you to this page where you can see this message here, get a six month free trial, which is what you want. But also, if you just want to buy their software right away, you can see that they have a sale going on right now precisely because of this whole thing with Adobe. That means that you can get all of their software for 50% off. 
So you can see what it includes. You can get Affinity Designer, which is kind of like Illustrator. You can get Affinity Photo, which is pretty much like Photoshop and Affinity Publisher, which is kind of like InDesign. And their universal license is available for just $82.99. It's a one-off payment, 50% off their original $164.99. But you don't have to pay for that right now. If you want, you can just get the six months free trial. So in order to do that, you just click here on free trial and you sign up with an email address. You fill in your details. And create an account. After that's done, you click here on get my download link and you're going to receive it on your email. Make sure you check your spam folder because the email could be there. Then you click here on verify email address and there you go. It says, thanks for verifying your email address. Please find your download links below. And now you can find the download links for the Windows versions of their apps, also the Mac versions. So just choose whatever OS you're using. And also keep in mind that you also get access to the iPad versions of their apps completely free as well. All right, so I'll download Affinity Designer and Affinity Photo as well as Affinity Publisher. So now that your download is done, let's install those apps. Installation is very simple. Like most Mac apps, you just have to drag the application to the applications folder. It takes just a few seconds and we are good to go. Now you just have to type in the email that you used for your Affinity account. I'm going to click on activate and that's it. We are in and we have our 180 day trial available. So now you just have to start your trial. All right, so let's create something here. Sure, that's great. And you can see that everything works just fine. So let me write subs. My, my writing is amazing. Look at that. Cry. Beautiful. This is art, people. And let me just add a heart right here. Now that is absolutely perfect, isn't it? So this is actually all there is to it. Pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and you can get creating right away. If you liked this video, please don't forget to give it a like, subscribe, and maybe leave a comment down below on whether you found it useful or not, or maybe what type of content you want to see next from this channel. Alright, thank you so much and see you next time.